participation here. The vote has been concluded. We won 217 to 210. To 210. The MX is as fast. That's the fourth vote in the last few weeks in the Congress on the MX. All four have been victorious as far as, well, I think as far as America is concerned, because this shows again that we were able to stand in a bipartisan way before the world and say that we're our security's concerned. How do you feel about the next round for the 48? Well, we've got a few months before that comes up. We'll well, take Senator Nunn has introduced a measure already to cap it at 42, cap the MX. Well, uh, those things will go on, but all I know is that in Geneva today, they can sit down at the negotiating table and know that we came forward in a bipartisan manner and have voted this weapon system. Do you, uh, do you think you'll do that well in the next round when you go for Contra aid? Well, that's a whole different subject. We'll we'll fight that one out too. Well, how Frankly, it is vitally important. How about negotiations on uh, the defense budget? Are you close to an agreement, Mr. President? Uh, we're we're talking right now with our own Senate leaders here on the. Uh, Whatever we can do and what the package will be that we hope we can go forward together with. And present. Well, how much, do you think, how much more do you think you can reset? cut? What? How much more do you think you can cut? I don't know. But I do know that no compromise should involve any of the basic weapon systems that we're dependent on. But a on stretch out would still allow them to go forward. Uh, You'd agree to stretch out, wouldn't you? Sometimes a stretch out, however, results in an increased cost. If you delay the manufacture of something and stretching it out, you find out the per unit cost goes up and you don't save anything. Do you still think you're going to have a budget deal before Easter, or the Easter recess? That's, that's kind of hard to, hard to predict. We, we haven't been able to do that so far <laughs> since I've been here. All right. Good luck in your tie, the Nakasone tie. <laughs> Where's your sweater? Well, we have a, we have all our, our trade. What do you think about the indictment of Bernard Getz yesterday? Uh, with that before the court, no, no comment.